Hello, party people. It is Will Pemble. If you look here, you'll see that there's a pin or a bolt that goes through from the chassis of the cart down to the bogey, the wheel assembly, and there's a couple of aluminum plates here that keep the thing from uh, keep the thing from tipping and tilting. And what I've noticed lately is on this coaster, what we've seen is this has gotten really, really rocky and and uh, and and not good, right? This should be pretty tight because this is what keeps the cart stable on the track. This is what keeps the cart perpendicular to the track. And so this needs to be really tight and it isn't. And what I started thinking was that this had to do with the fact that the cart goes really fast and there's excessive g-forces and all of that sort of stuff. But here's the deal about this roller coaster. This roller coaster is crazy smooth. It doesn't have a whole lot of excessive force. It doesn't have overbanking. It doesn't have a whole lot of unnecessary lateral things going on. So I couldn't figure out what it was until I did. See that? That right there is one of the brake pads. And when the cart goes over the brakes that are installed onto the track, what happens is this slows the cart down. But what it is is attached to the wheel assembly. So the wheel assembly slows down. A whole lot of energy goes here. And then the wheel assembly needs to pull on the cart to slow the cart down. And that's what is stressing and bending this grade 8 steel bolt. What I got to do is I've got to rebuild the brakes on the cart so that the brakes are attached to the body of the cart rather than having the brakes attached to the wheel assembly. And that I think is going to solve the problem. Now I just took this bolt out. This is the bolt that holds the whole thing together. It's just resting there by gravity right now. If you look at the grade 8 steel bolt, this makes me feel very happy. There isn't really anything wrong with it. Some of the color has been scraped off. But these are incredibly strong, and if you're starting to bend one of these things, then you got a situation going there. But let's look at the non-grade 8 steel washers. This washer used to be perfectly flat. It sat right up here just like that. There was another washer on top of that one, also bent. Look at that. Wow. This, in uh, engineering terms, is what we call when a piece of material yields, right? Deflect means it'll bend and then bend back, and yield means it just gives in, it's bent. Now, that's not even the horrifying part. The horrifying part happens when you look underneath the cart, right? So here we are underneath the cart. Check this out. This whole piece of steel here, which is the wheel assembly, it's caving in. It has also yielded. It is also bent. So what we need to do is we need to change the whole way all of this is being done because this doesn't work anymore. This is not safe, right? We are destroying the cart a little bit at a time every time we go over it. It's not going to fail all at once until it does. An airplane doesn't crash the day it crashes. An airplane crashes 10 years ago when somebody put two rivets into the thing instead of putting four rivets or they put the wrong size bolts in the windshield. If you, if you look at and do a little bit of research about aircraft accidents, it always happens because somebody did something wrong a long, long time ago. Uh, or mostly it happens that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this whole wheel assembly. I'm going to make it all fresh, brand new, and I'm going to make it out of stronger steel. And I'm also going to move the brake pads, right? You see my brake pads here? I'm going to move them from the wheel assembly up to the chassis of the cart. I'm going to mount the I'm going to mount the brake pads a little bit forward of where they are right now, and I'm going to mount them to the chassis of the cart. So they're going to be bolted in, and that way the wheels are only charged with the responsibility of rolling down the track. All the rest of the work is going to be done by the bulk of the thing. And so that was a design mistake that I made. I, uh, it was We needed to slow the thing down and, and we made the mistake. Happily we've been looking at it and watching it and we can fix it and that's what I'm going to do. So what I've done now is I've just built this little foot that sticks down. A foot brake. You get it? It's a brake and it looks kind of like anyway, Sorry. Um, what this is going to do is this is going to reach down from underneath the seat. I'm going to attach it to the chassis of the cart, not the wheel assemblies, so that, and then I'll brace it from behind so that it'll be strong. But I've built two of these little guys. All right, you can see these guys right here. These two little feet are going to sit under the cart, and what I suspect is that these are going to do the job that the brake pads that are attached to the wheel assemblies are doing, 
but they're going to leave the wheel assemblies out of it. That means that the only thing that the wheels are going to be expected to do is roll. So now I'm just going to weld this onto here. I'm just going to tack this brake pad onto the bottom of the cart. See, not attached to the axle, but attached to the cart. And I'm going to tack one on both sides, and then I'm going to run it around the track and see how it works. Okay, so here's our new brake pads. Not super strong, I'm going I'm to brace them, but they're good enough for now, and then these are going to come away. These also sit a little bit closer to the track than these, and so these will be able to pass right over the brakes, these old ones. But you see how these ones are connected to the axle? That means when these slow down, they pull on all of this, which, which is terrible, but these are just connected to the chassis of the cart. These are connected to the bulk of it, and so these are going to do a much better job, I suspect. Let's go find out if I'm right. Okay, so here's what they look like on the track. See the brake pads, the new brake pads sit right up there. They're a little bit lower, right, than these. I still have to tip these up a little bit, but they sit above the chain dog. They shouldn't bang into anything. Now what I gotta do is I gotta pull this over, see kind of what happens. Okay, now I gotta see if I can <laughs> pull the cart over all those brakes. The, the new brake pads sit a quarter of an inch closer to the strips. There's no weight on the cart, and uh, everybody's out, so I'm on my own. We'll see what happens. Okay. Good news, got over these, no problem. Other good news, more good news, my awesome brake pads, which I will brace from here back to here. So they'll be very strong. They'll be like a triangle holding these things. The new brake pads sit real nice and pretty on the brakes. These things don't even touch there. Now the big question is, am I strong enough to pull these all the way to the end here? Uh, and then if I am strong enough, are my tack welds <laughs> strong enough to keep the pads on the cart? The really good news though, is look, the brakes are engaged, the brakes have stopped the cart, and the wheels are not under any kind of stress. And so, so, so far, I feel happy that I'm not putting any undue stress on this pivot point right here, which is a big one. That's really important that that be safe and sound. the brake pads uh, as a matter of fact just for fun I'm feeling so good about the brake pads what I think I want to do is light up the track and send it around let's see what happens if the brake pads touch the brakes at speed right the worst thing that happens is something will break <laughs> see what I did there brake brake yeah I know. all right Hang in there, baby. okay Okay, when it crosses over the threshold, turn off the power. Okay. So I've run out of light, but I wanted to finish up this update for you. Here's the OG brake pads. We've got to finish tack welding them in. i got to brace them against the back there. They work really well on the existing brake strips. I'm really happy with the way this part of the project has turned out. We got the brakes mounted on the body of the cart instead of having the brakes mounted on the wheels of the cart, so it's going to be stronger and safer and smoother and all of the things that I really love. This is turning out to be a fantastic coaster because there's so many little things that we can do to make it better and better and it's 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 the best laboratory I've ever had. So, if you've got some ideas of things you'd like to see on this coaster, little changes to the system, whole new different things, let me know what they are. Put them in the comments below. Thank you for helping me bring physics family and fun to kids everywhere. I am Will Pemball, and I'll see you soon.